These are Marvel characters that had perfect endings to their stories versus ones with endings so bad it almost ruined the entire character. It's honestly hard to think of a Marvel character that was done dirtier than Mystique in the X-Men movie, specifically X-Men Dark Phoenix, because if you don't remember, this is where the character dies. Now, there's nothing wrong with killing off Mystique on its own. The way it's done is so incredibly stupid because Jean Grey just loses control of her powers for like one second and just absolutely launches Mystique onto some broken piece of the house, causing her to be impaled and pretty much just dying on the spot. It is is so absolutely unnecessary and honestly plays with more goofy than it does like a serious heartfelt moment. Like everybody knew how powerful Jean is already. We didn't need to see this to show her powers. You could have had Mystique have a great sacrifice death instead, but no, this is what we got. On the other side of things, Iron Man is easily one of the options for the greatest character arc, not just in Marvel, honestly. It's one of my favorite character arcs in film of all time because of how much time we got to spend them with this character. It started in 2008. It really is just amazing development watching him go from a complete asshole who's just super selfish in that first Iron Man movie all the way to Avengers Endgame to making the ultimate sacrifice saving the entire universe. It's absolutely perfect. The funeral scene also is just the perfect bow on top of the present. And I'm not gonna lie, I just rewatched Endgame for the first time in a couple years the other week and I honestly still teared up at the Tony Stark death. It's just so great of a scene. Maria Hill might be the one MCU character that was done the dirtiest honestly because she had one of the most unceremonious and stupidest endings of all time in the Secret Invasion show which a lot of people don't even know because they didn't even watch this series. Now she never was or was going to be like a major character in the MCU but she was always a great supporting character in so many of the early Marvel films and she was always great in those smaller roles and it was like oh my god she finally got a bigger role in Secret Invasion. We're gonna see her and Nick Fury finally just working together but then no Secret Invasion starts up episode one of the show happens and boom Maria Hill gets killed off for just pointless shock value. We don't really get to learn more about this character that I was really looking forward to. She doesn't go out in a good way. She literally just gets tricked and killed. And like 80% of Marvel fans are literally never going to know what happened to this character because nobody watched Secret Invasion. It's such a shame. I'm still not over it. I need a palate cleanser after that Maria Hill talk and nobody better than Captain America, one of the most just purely good characters in Marvel and had an absolutely perfect arc from beginning to end from the first Avenger to Endgame. Like, yeah, the story takes some detours and we kind of get away from the Peggy storyline a little bit in the middle of the MCU, but the fact that this is where things started with Captain America, the first Avenger, and then he gets to go back in time and finally live that life with Peggy, it's so well deserved and just such a great moment for this character. It doesn't hurt that towards the end of his story, we also get some amazing moments proving he was worthy all along and all those other amazing endgame moments. Back to the ones that were done dirty. I know it's not really a character arc because he barely even had enough time on screen, but Darwin from X-Men First Class, you know how I feel about this, forever one of the stupidest things ever. The X-Men with the ability to adapt and survive to everything gets killed off in his first movie appearance. I understand, I'm watching a movie, you want to make the villain seem powerful and strong and showcase that to the audience, but he is literally one of the only people in the entire movie that dies. Like, there could have been so many other ways to show how much power Shaw had as a villain but no this is what we decided to do and it's so incredibly stupid every time it honestly makes me laugh. Loki's one of those characters that kind of had two perfect endings because while his death in Infinity War is definitely a sad moment I do think it was an amazing sacrifice he finally was on Thor's side and he tried to do everything to protect Thor and what was left of Asgard and Infinity War it just ended up in his death. So I was worried when they brought him back for the Loki show was it gonna ruin the character was it gonna feel unnecessary but little did I know it was gonna give us some of the greatest character moments of all time in the MCU and one of the best endings to a character story we've ever seen. This being his glorious purpose all along, him becoming the god of stories and just giving up everything to be this just being at the end of time pretty much was so amazing. It's such an emotional moment and Tom Hiddleston really deserves so much credit as his character for how good he made these moments. Don't even get me started on Cyclops in the X-Men movies. Not only was his character unbelievably underutilized, like they cast James Marsden, he was incredible as his character and they just never gave him anything really to do in these movies. And if that wasn't bad enough, they also decide in X-Men The Last Stand, we're going to give you one of the just worst and most unceremonious deaths of all time, another terrible death at the hands of Jean Grey. You literally don't even really see this death happen on screen, and it's basically forgotten about by the end of the movie. Like, they literally do not care whatsoever that they just killed this character off in the most whack way imaginable. It feels like a slap in the face, because Cyclops is one of the main X-Men characters from pretty much every other form of media besides the movie. For some reason, they just did not want 
one and have anything to do with him. You can say, yeah, it's kind of fixed a little bit because of Days of Future Past, but I'm sorry, it does not take away from how insulting this was to just the character and honestly the actor. He deserved better. Logan's ending was absolutely ruined by Deadpool Wolverine has been a very common thing for people to say after this movie released. And while I understand you would say that because of the opening scene in particular, it does kind of discredit a lot of things that happen in Logan. I honestly see the things as two completely separate things, and I still think the Logan ending was absolutely perfect. It's right up there, if not better, than Iron Man's final moments in a movie because it's another character people spent so long with. It was like over 15 years watching Hugh Jackman play this character. And what I really like about Logan's ending is that it's not some big save the universe moment. He kind of fails in a lot of respects. He lost Professor X in this movie, but it is still a deeply personal moment. He sacrifices himself to save Laura and the other kids. He proves to himself he's more than just a weapon. It's one of the most emotional superhero movie scenes of all time. One of the only other ones besides the Iron Man death that makes me honestly tear up. Like I said, I perfectly understand if you think Deadpool and Wolverine ruined this moment, but I see the things as separate and I really appreciate both the comedy of how Deadpool and Wolverine treats this moment and the seriousness of this film. Another character that didn't even get the chance to start running, no pun intended, was Quicksilver in the MCU. I think Aaron Taylor Johnson could have been really good as his character and he actually does have a good death and sacrifice in this movie so it's kind of weird that I'm putting him in this like ruined category. But it's just one of those things that I don't understand why we killed this character off so early on before we ever got to grow attached to this version of Quicksilver. There was so much potential here. Maybe there were some behind the scenes problems with X-Men and the rights or something so they could only use them in this one film and pretty much had to kill him off. But it's another one that just feels like a great moment if it was actually built up to and earn more for this character. That was a lot, but I'm sure there's plenty more characters I could have included. So let me know in the comments anyone you think I left off this list that had either a perfect ending or one that was ruined in a Marvel movie and hit subscribe for more.